So, ladies and gentlemen, on Tuesday, May 9th, we have an update on the latest Donald Trump court case, according to AP and uh, CP. Uh, he's lost again. Now, uh, we only present this as a, a public service. We do not uh, condone or promote anything but the information uh, of the story and take it as you will. Now, according to CBC via AP report and Reuters, uh, jury finds Donald Trump sexually abused and defamed calmless E.J. Carroll. Now, the jury in New York awarded Carroll today about $5 million <coughs> in compensatory and punitive damages in the case. Now, Donald Trump uh, uh, was convicted uh, in a civil case of sexually abusing magazine writer E.J. and Carroll in the 1990s and then defamed her by branding her a liar. Jurors decided on Tuesday, awarding her $5 million in U.S. in damages. The former U.S. president campaigning to take back the White House in 2024 will appeal, said his spokesperson Stephen Chung. Trump will not have to pay the damages so long as the case is on appeal. Now, Carol, who was 79, testified during the civil trial that Trump, 76, raped her in a Bergdorf Goodman department store dressing room in Manhattan in either 95 or 96, then harmed her reputation by writing in an October 22 post on his true social platform that her claims were a complete con job, a hoax, and a lie. Girl in the hell hands with her lawyers as the verdict was read. <coughs> now, Trump's lawyer, Joseph Tacopina, shook hands with Carol and hugged her lawyer, Roberto Kaplan, after the verdict was announced. Outside uh, the courthouse, he told reporters the jury's decision to rule in Trump's favor on the rape claim, but still uh, find him responsible for sexual assault was perplexing and strange. Part of me was obviously very happy that Donald Trump was not branded a rapist, he said. Now, Takapina defended Trump's absence from the trial, saying he would have entered a circus atmosphere, and having him be here would be more of a circus. What more can you say other than, than I didn't do it? And he said that on the road. In a written statement released after she left the courthouse without speaking, Carl said she sued Trump to clear my name and to get my life back. Today, the world finally knows the truth. This victory is not just for me, but for every woman who has suffered because she was not believed. Kaplan said in the written, in the written statement that she hoped her client's case would uh, pro prove nobody's above the law, not even a former president of the United States. Now, the nine-member jury in Manhattan federal court awarded $5 million in compensatory punitive damages, although the finding of sexual abuse was enough to establish his liability for battery, the jury did not find that Trump raped her. The jury deliberated, deliberated for just under three hours, it rejected Trump's denial that he assaulted Carol and ruled in her favor. To find the Bible, the jury of six men and three women was required to find a unanimous verdict. Now, Trump was absent throughout the trial, which began on April 25th. In a post on his truth social platform, Trump called the verdict a disgrace and it said, I have absolutely no idea who this woman is. Now, Trump was president uh, from 2017 to 2021. And is a front runner in the opinion polls for Republican presidential nomination and has shown an uncanny ability to weather controversies that might say, sink other politicians. Now, according to the CBC report, it seems unlikely in America, a, polar, a polarized political climate, that the civil verdict will have an impact on Trump's core supporters. If you use legal woes as part of a concerted effort by opponents to undermine him, the folks that are anti Trump are going to remain that way. The core pro Trump voters are not going to change. And the ambivalent ones, I just don't think, are going to be moved by this type of thing, said Charlie Garo, a Republican strategist in Pennsylvania. Any negative impact is likely to be small and limited uh, to suburban women and moderate Republicans. Jurors were at task with, the, with deciding whether Trump raped, sexually abused, or forcibly touched Carol, or anyone uh, which would satisfy her claim of battery. They were separately asked if Trump defamed Carol. Because this was a civil case, Trump faces no criminal consequences, and as such, there was never a threat to prison. Trump's legal team opted not to present a defense, gambling that jurors would find that Carroll had failed to make a persuasive case. Now, as it stands uh, right now, 
Uh, Trump has said Carroll, a former elite L magazine columnist and a registered Democrat, made up the allegations to try to increase sales of her 2019 memoir and heard him politically. Because the case was a civil court, Carroll was required to establish a rape claim by a preponderance of the evidence, meaning more likely than not, rather than a higher standard used in criminal cases, a proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Carroll had to show clear and convincing evidence to prove her defamation claim. The trial required testimony from two women who said Trump sexually assaulted them decades ago. Canadian uh, journalist and former People magazine reporter Natasha Stoinoff told jurors that Trump cornered her at a Mar-a-Lago club in Florida in 2005 and forcibly kissed her for a few minutes until a butler interrupted the alleged assault. Another woman, Jessica Leeds, testified that Trump kissed her, groped her, and put her, uh, his hand up her skirt on a flight in 1979. Now, jurors also heard excerpts from a 2005 Access Hollywood video in which Trump says woman let him grab him by the pussy. Historically, that's true with stars. If you look over the last million years, Trump said in the October <coughs> 22 video deposition played in court. He has repeatedly denied allegations of sexual misconduct. Carol's lawyer, Kaplan, told jurors during closing arguments, arguments on Monday that the 2005 video was proof that Trump had assaulted Carol and other women. The federal trial, presided over by the U.S. District Judge Lewis Kaplan, who was not related to Carol's lawyer, began on April 25th. Citing the uniqueness of a civil case against a former president, the judge decided that the names, addresses, and places of employment of the jurors would be kept secret. Carol testified that she bumped into Trump at Bergdorf's while he was shopping for a gift for another woman. Carol said she agreed to help Trump pick out a gift, and the two looked at lingerie before he coaxed her into a dressing room slammed her head into a wall and raped her. Carol testified she could not remember the precise date or year the alleged rape occurred. Carol faced questions from Trump's legal team, attacking the plausibility of her account, including why she had never reported the matter to police or screamed during the alleged incident. Two of Carol's friends said she told them about the alleged rape at the time, but swore them to secrecy because she feared that Trump would use his fame and wealth to retaliate against her if she came forward. Now, Carol told jurors she decided to break her silence in 2017 after rape allegations against Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein as part of the YouTube movement pro- prompted scores of women to come forward with accounts of sexual violence by powerful men. She went public with her account while Trump was still president. Now, she said Trump's public denials wrecked her career and instigated a campaign of vicious online harassment by his supporters including very threatening messages in social media posts. When, while Trump did not testify at the trial, a video clip from the October 22 dep- deposition showed him mistaking Carol for one of his former wives in a black and white photo among several people at the event. It's Marla, Trump said in the deposition, referring to his second wife, Mara Marla Maples. Previously, Trump had said he could not have raped Carol because she was not his type. Trump has cited the Carol trial and campaign fundraising emails as evidence of what he portrays as a democratic plot to damage him politically. Now, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned as the world turns, as we say, uh, more Trump day, uh, Trump updates down the road. All I can say is that uh, we provide this as a public service, not to take sides in it. But uh, as the saying goes, if it smells like hairspray, it's hairspray. Have a good one. Bye.